Hello, my name is Chris Johnson, and I'm the product specialist for OGP products for Cross Company. And welcome to our series of tips, tricks, and how to get things done using Zone 3 software. Hello, this is our tip section on how to do GDNT tolerancing using the CAD model. We have shown in previous videos where we can align a CAD model to the video section of the camera. Now, we want to show you how we, you can use the model to generate GD&T. So I'm going to use two examples today. I'm going to do profile of a line and true position. So let's do profile first. So we can see with our CAD model, we have a curve in the CAD model. I have done a previous alignment, so I think we're ready to go. So let's select Curve 2D, Feature Finder, and then select the curve. So we, we simply go around to each section of the CAD model and click the features that we want. Here you see me selecting the curved features of the CAD model. So I have this whole side profile. It's there. We can select Generate Path, and click OK, and then we'll press the Play button. And we'll see that the system, Zone 3, has generated all the proper path points and code for the program. It is also pulling the nominals located from the CAD model and applying it to the measurement being done. Now that that curve is done, we'll select Save, and the next step is to apply, apply our GD&T. So we come to our Evaluate tab, select our GD&T profile, asking us which we do want to use, and that's going to be curve number one. And then here we select our GD&T tolerance. I'm going to plug in 0.1 millimeters and then to go back to datums A, B, and C. I'll select the play button for our evaluation. And we can see that this one is out of spec. It is at 0.1237 millimeters. All right. We can go to our report. Here is our line profile. And we can see we have a whisker diagram associated there that's going to come straight to our report. We'll save that. Okay. We can also see on the screen it puts a nice little tag that tells us where our GDNT is on our high side and low side. We can carry that a step further. We can add a graphic report step to that profile. And here we can add our whisker charts right over top of the CAD model. We can see that our lines here are in green. And then as our CAD model goes out of specification, we can see where that tolerance band is. That now becomes part of our report. Okay, so now let's do a true position. A true position works much the same way. We select a feature to measure. In this case, I'm going to measure a circle using a feature finder. And I'm going to measure the center circle for this bolt hole. You just click the circle generate our path. I'll select the play button. If you've seen our previous videos, how, how easy it is to measure a circle using the CAD model, we just select it. It pulls in all the nominals, meaning location and size. We'll select save. And let's apply a true position tolerance. So we go to our evaluation, true position. We're going to apply it to the circle that was just measured. And again, we'll apply this back to A, B, and C, our datum structure. And we'll put a true position of, let's give this one 0.2 millimeters. We'll select play. And this true position is in specification. We're at 0.1518 millimeters. Okay. And that's simply how we do a true position. We can apply max material if we wish, and that is by selecting next to the tolerance, and then we can apply max material condition and select the play button. And of course, we're still in specification, but now we've added the max material modifier. 
and select Save there. And if we look at our results page, here are all the results from what we just did. There is our profile of our line and our true position.